I want to share with you my three tips on how to be positive and happy in life. But first, I want to introduce myself for those who may not know me. My name is Linda Armstrong, and I help people to bring more light to their life. I'm a spiritual awakening coach and an energy healer. And on my YouTube channel, I like to talk about everything to do with spirituality, um, awakening, transformation, healing, working with energy, not only to heal body, mind, spirit, but also to uh, manifest all that you want in your life so that you can live your life loving your life. And that's my website, lovemylife.coach. So I would love for you to subscribe, uh, hit the bell so you'll receive notices when new videos come out every Monday and Friday. And also if you could share and um, comment, um, I'd love to hear um, you, what you have to say after hearing my three tips. First tip, and really very important, you have to own it and know it that happiness is an inside job. Only you can make yourself happy. It's not up to the people around you. Whatever they're doing in their life really doesn't have to affect you. When you have all these outside things bringing you down, you're actually giving your power away. You know, uh, what, I, what I want you to do is just really connect within, own who you are, know yourself. And maybe through watching more and more of my videos, you can come to this understanding of how we all create our own reality. The outside reflects the inside. So really, that's why you want to come within when things pop up in your environment that um, you know, pull you off course or really feel crushing to you. Um, it's not easy, but if you can see what, it, what the gift is in this experience, what is it wanting to teach you or have you expand from, okay? There's always some kind of healing to happen with any anything that's going on. And, and believe me, I know, it's not fun when you're going through it. And it's a little hard sometimes to have that presence of mind to say, wait, hold on, okay, I need to go within because my happiness is my job. And so what do I need to do? Like, what is it that I'm not seeing here? Or, you know, what could I have done differently maybe to have this be a little bit smoother? Most of the time it's misunderstandings anyway when it's things to do with, you know, people. <laughs> um, but it could be with anything, jobs, you know, lots of stuff. So that's the first tip. Happiness is an inside job. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll shoot a longer video on just that point at another time. So now let's go to um, my second tip. Okay, now for tip number two, release judgment. <laughs> judgment, oh, that's heavy. So heavy when you're judging others. You know, sometimes all it takes is to step outside of yourself and think, well, what must be going on in their life for them to have to be that way or react that way or you know for them to have a certain understanding about life or whatever it is that is coming into your space your environment where you're creating judgment towards this other thing because really all that does is keep you locked and heavy within yourself you know if you can release that and I think I find the easiest way to release it is to actually put myself on the other side, you know, and kind of see what they might be, what might be driving them, you know, and there's something for them to learn, obviously, or we wouldn't have this judgment against them. And again, there's that mirror thing, right? <laughs> something within that experience is reflecting to you something within yourself to be healed. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to have to make uh, a longer video on each one of these points. But, you know, that's it. Release judgment. Let's keep it simple for today. Okay, so now my third tip is up next. My third tip and my favorite tip. Compassion leads to love. And you can see how it ties in with the other ones, right? So compassion towards Whatever it is that's in your experience that may be heavy or bringing you down, right? And, uh, and again, especially when it has to do with 
other people or you know other living things you know um, when you can when you can drop into your heart and just come from that place of love and compassion you can actually shift the energy around you and actually by you stepping into that energy of compassion and of love that's really the best way that you can bring about a solution or even just to help somebody else you know sometimes that's all they need is just to hear to be heard to be felt to be understood you know um, and, and, and most of my tips here I'm relating to like relationships between people but really it can apply to just about anything um, so yeah that's it compassion leads to love so try to bring yourself you know try to come from out what, whatever's pulling you out of yourself right there's some experience that's bringing you down and making you feel maybe you know not so happy or not so positive when you can come back in and just sit with yourself and, and imagine that you're putting all your attention into your heart and you could even ask yourself you know a question what would love do oh, that opens up a whole new world of possibilities yeah that's a good one so play with those three tips um, and especially when you're feeling not so positive not so happy right um, see where you can apply one of these you know is it compassion is it to release the judgment is it to just have the understanding that you create your own happiness it's not the people outside of you so don't give them that power you know own your power to make things go right in your life you know to do things that raise your vibration so that you can live in that energy of happiness of peace love and joy all right, so we're gonna keep it short. I got all these other ideas coming in, but you know, uh, I won't, I'll talk about them on another video, <laughs> that's all. So I just would love for you to um, comment below if, if maybe you heard these three things in a different way. You know, I just like to keep it simple. Um, or if, you've, if you find that you, you already kind of go to one of these things, but you may not always remember to do it. Yeah, I'm there. I mean, I know lots of stuff, right? About I'm an energy healer, right? I know how to raise my vibration, but sometimes you get kind of lost in the outside stuff, right? So you have to bring yourself back. Always bring yourself back. Drop into that heart, you know? Find that energy of love, even if you have to go pet your puppy <laughs> to, to bring you back. Um, so I'll leave with that. Um, please subscribe and comment, share. Um, I'd love to um, interact with you more. Have a great day and a happy life filled with positivity.